Welcome to our Northampton data center known as DC4. This site is built in line with tier three plus specifications. It's a 41,000 square foot facility covering three halls and approximately 800 racks. We have a node four solution center on site which enables us to demonstrate our portfolio and products to customers or potential customers alike. Security is obviously an important aspect of this site. The site is PCI compliant in terms of physical security. The site is also ISO 27001 certified. We have perimeter fencing, CCTV, concrete reinforced with metal walls, uh, access control on all the doors, and dual layer authentication on, on certain critical areas. Let's head inside and take a look around. And now we're going through into the uh, data center area through this door here. Um, this is a man trap, you can only have one door open at a time, um, just to make sure the network operations center can keep an eye on the customer traffic coming and going and making sure everything's secure. And here we are in hall three. As you can see, we've got about 140 live racks here at the moment, and this empty space is where we're expanding. There's room for another 350 racks, approximately. It's a hostile containment hall with IG55 fire suppression uh, behind you. Node 4 services do run from here as well, including our N4 cloud, uh, collaboration services, uh, and SIP trunking, to name but a few. And here we are in the generator room at Northampton DC4. We've got three one megawatt sets uh, behind us in an N plus one configuration, meaning we only need two to actually run the site. Um, all the generators are tested monthly. Uh, we simulate a mains failure um, and run on generators for a few hours to make sure everything is working correctly. The generators are under service contracts, serviced every six months. And we have enough fuel to run for four days on our current load levels and we can refill within four hours of making a call should we need to. Welcome to one of our power rooms at Northampton DC4. This room contains everything we need to power the site and we have a completely separate room, a mirror image of this room which again contains everything we need to power the site. Uh, we've got some banks of UPSs here, some strings of batteries, two transformers in this hall and two transformers in the, uh, in the other hall. Um, we've got enough battery time to actually run the whole site on batteries for around 35 minutes. But in reality, in the event of a mains failure, the generators will take the load within a minute. So that's the gap that we need to actually bridge with the UPS systems.